Hey everybody, this is Paul. So in the last tutorial we just finished coding the push function. So in this tutorial what we're going to do is we're just going to code the read item function. And so the read item function is going to be a void return type. And uh, we're going to define this from the stack class. So we're going to do stack colon colon. And then I'm just going to select the read item option here. So if you don't have that option just go ahead and type that in and then I'm going to do an opening and closing curly brace and then inside of here is where I'm basically going to define the read item function so what's going to happen here is we're going to pass in a pointer that we're going to call R and R is going to be pointing to some item and so the read item function is just going to display the contents of that item to the screen so we're just going to do a few C out statements here so the first one is just going to be C out and then we'll just go ahead and kind of do a separation and you'll see why I'm doing this later and so then I'm just going to I'll just go ahead and copy this part right here and we'll go ahead and paste it and now then in between these uh, these separations here I'm going to have it print out the contents of the item and so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to print out the name of the item and so we're just going to say name and then we'll do colon space we'll do two spaces and then we'll just do uh, r arrow name and then we'll do an end line as well and so what this is going to do is it's basically going to look at whatever is inside the name variable in the item that r is pointing to so whatever r is pointing to it's going to look at the name variable of that item and then print that to the screen right after it prints out name. So the only other thing we want it to do is we just want it to see out the value. And so we're just going to say value and then colon and then we'll do a space and then we'll do r arrow value and then an end line as well. And let's spell that right. E NDL. And then the other thing is I'm just going to put some end lines on these as well. So I'll do a backslash N and a backslash N for an, a new line for both of those. So basically what it's going to do is when we pass in this pointer that's pointing to some item, it's going to kind of draw this little dotted line and then inside the dotted line it's going to say name and then it's going to read the name inside that item, print that to the screen and then it will on, an, on another line it will say value and then it will print the value of that item to the screen and then it will end it with this um, line this dotted line right here so these dotted lines just kind of help us keep track of each item so if we were to print out an entire stack then these dotted lines kind of separate each item so we have the name and the value of each item in between these dotted lines so that's what the read item is going to do so anyway, stay tuned for the next tutorial. I'll be coding the pop function. So we'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.